Hey guys, this is a guide on installing the AKP ROM on the Sprint Galaxy. Alright, so before we actually get started, there's some steps that we gotta take in preparation. Make sure that you are rooted and you have a compatible recovery mode such as Clockwork Mod. Go ahead and uh, make sure that you have at least 4 gigs of free space. Now what, you, what I want you to do is go ahead and turn off your device. Press the volume up, home, and power keys, and hold them until the Samsung logo comes up. Let go. Alright, now you're in recovery mode. Let's see. Go ahead into backup and restore hit backup and uh, this will now create a system image that you can restore from if anything goes wrong it will back up everything and your phone will be just as it was before you uh, at the time of the backup so that's a useful way to restore in case anything goes wrong I'm not going to do it right now because I have already done it now once that is done, go ahead and hit reboot system now. And your phone will turn back. Alright guys, so in this part we're gonna go ahead and download the ROM and Google Apps. So first plug in your phone, make sure that's plugged in. Uh open up the phone's folder, internal storage, whatever. I'll go ahead and hit that link to the XDA forums. Um, page for the AOKP download by task 650 and Ktune says creds to these great guys bringing it to us so go down to the downloads part there's a bunch of important stuff over here read it um, I don't have time to right now hit the download links <coughs> go ahead and download both of these ROM and Google Apps I have them downloaded already shown folder and simply copy them to your internal storage which I'm going to do right now and then wait for that to finish so it's done now um, go ahead and download titanium backup from the play store this isn't part of the, any computer stuff but uh, go ahead and download that and back up all your apps so that you have something to restore from so you don't lose all your apps and download them again you lose all your app data it's just uh, something to make things a lot easier so go ahead and do that and uh, you're pretty much done now so that's it for the prep part now we're on to the actual installation of the ROM now that you get those files transferred over uh, go ahead and proceed to turn your phone off. Boot into recovery mode using the steps shown before. Volume up, home button down, and power key. Release when the Samsung logo pops up. See if I can get this to focus. All right. Now go ahead and scroll down to wipe data slash factory reset. Select that. Hit yes, and before you do this, make sure that you have that Android backup. Um, hit yes to delete all user data. Alright, 
Now hit install zip from SD card. Hit to zip from SD card. And go ahead and find the AOKP uh, zip that you downloaded. Ignore all this other stuff that I've got. That's just my stuff. Uh, make sure it says AOKP underscore jellybean underscore 4.2.2 or whatever the version is. And select it. Go ahead and down and hit yes. Wait for that to finish up. Uh... It's done. Go ahead and choose it from SD card again. And now look for the Google Apps that you downloaded. It is a zip file, of course. And select it. Hit yes, install Google Apps or G Apps, whatever. And that will install the necessary Google Apps, including the Play Store um, and other Google services. Go back, go into Advanced, hit and wipe down the cache. And it's done. Hit Reboot System Now. and watch the magic happen. I really like their uh, Buddha animation there. It's pretty, pretty authentic, I gotta say. I don't love those guys over at AOKP. But it's finishing up. And it's done. Go ahead and go through the necessary processes of like selecting your Wi Fi network and all that stuff. You are now done and running AOKP. Make sure to get titanium backup and restore all your apps. Customize the ROM and enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, Please like, comment with any questions, and subscribe. See ya.